If you are spending hours filming and editing your iPhone app tutorial videos, well, I have a way for you to do it all in real time with basically no editing. Let's go. This video is made possible by you visiting my digital store, where you can learn the essential basics of filmmaking for 30 bucks and more. First, you're gonna need a Bluetooth capable mouse, and this allows us to activate the mouse cursor feature on your iPhone. I'm specifically gonna be using the Logitech M550L because it's not expensive and it's also a full-size mouse for better ergonomics. I'll add some purchase links down below if you wanna buy this mouse. Second, we're gonna get ourselves a wireless microphone. That way your real-time voiceover is loud and clear. For this, I will be using the Hollyland Lark M2 because it delivers a great sound and the receiver has a pass-through charging port, meaning you can keep your phone charged while you're recording a super long tutorial. Now, technically, you do not need a wireless microphone and you can just use the built-in mic on your specific iPhone. So for your reference, here's what they sound like with this phone at approximately this distance as if I was conducting a tutorial. And this is an iPhone 15 Pro Max. This is a sound quality test of the built-in microphone with the iPhone at exactly the same distance as I would be doing any sort of tutorial. This is a test of the Hollyland going straight into my iPhone. This is a wireless microphone that I have clipped onto my shirt. Now that you got your Bluetooth mouse and your wireless microphone, it's time to set up the iPhone itself. This portion of the video is quite literally a live demonstration of just how easy it is to create an iPhone app tutorial. So let's get started. First, we're gonna go into our home screen and we're gonna locate the settings because we want to pair our Bluetooth mouse first. So we're gonna go into settings, locate the Bluetooth menu, make sure it's turned on, and then we're simply gonna power on our mouse. There it is, we're gonna go ahead and tell it to pair to that. And there we go. Okay, so now if I move right here, you can see that the mouse is moving. So we're paired now. Next is we're going to turn on this mouse cursor feature and that is found in the accessibility menu. So we're gonna go here, we're gonna go over to touch and we want assistive touch to be turned on. Everything else doesn't really matter, but we want assistive touch to be turned on. Next, we're gonna go back over and go to our pointer control. And this is where we can change a couple things. So immediately I chose the color yellow, but there are a couple different other colors you can choose from. I feel like yellow stands out the most. And the border width that you see here, you have control of that. And then next is pointer size. I have it towards the middle because it gives me this little dot, which makes it more accurate and easier for people to see. You can go smaller if you want to, but in my opinion, I feel like having that little dot is a good idea. Okay, then one more thing here in the accessibility menu, it's all the way down at the bottom, and that is the accessibility shortcut. So what we wanna do is make sure assistive touch is the shortcut. If it's not already there, go ahead and just click on it and turn it on. And what this does is the power button on the right side of your iPhone. If you click it three times, it'll jump in and out of this specific mode. So watch this. If I click it three times, one, two, three, my mouse is gone, nothing's gonna work. If I click it three more times, here we go, our mouse is back. So. This is a very quick way to get in and out of your accessibility mode, so you don't have to always go into the settings. Now, once this is done, let's go all the way back to the main settings menu, because we wanna make sure our control center has the screen recording button there. So we're gonna go ahead and find control center. And I already have screen recording here, but if you don't see it in your menu, it's very easy. Simply scroll all the way down, it's all alphabetical order, and let's go ahead and add screen recording to our control center. One last thing, once you go into your control center, which if you just pull down from the right, here we have the screen recording button, which is currently recording, but you got one more thing you need to do, which is we're gonna click and hold on it, and you'll notice that there is an option to turn your microphone on. We want this on, that means it's going to basically get audio from your wireless microphone or the built-in microphone. And once you have that all set up, just hit start record and you're good to go.
And there you have it, guys. Go ahead and let me know in the comments down below, which fast food franchise do you believe has the best French fries? And as a reminder, go ahead and use my purchase links down below as that does help support the channel so I can continue making content like this for you. Go ahead and like and subscribe for the YouTube algorithm. And if you are a complete beginner, I have a $30 video course that will teach you all the basic knowledge of videography you need in basically less than two hours so you can get started in making videos like this for yourself. So until then, I'll see you guys in the next one.